Well, I wasn't sure to do this one or not, so I asked some friends. And so I get by with a little help from my friends. We're gonna pour this bad boy. I get these into a place where they will fit into the crucible, so I gotta cut these little ears off. But, uh, you know, cutting aluminum is not always the easiest thing. You have to use an aluminum oxide bit for the most part, or a diamond pit tip bit. The reason it's so hard to cut aluminum is for the simple fact that aluminum oxidizes with heat really well. So, <clears throat> when you start cutting the surface of it, it turns into aluminum oxide, which is a 8 or a 9 on the hardness scale. So, it's up there. Um, yeah, that's why it's so hard to cut. So, use you a uh, cutoff wheel. Works best. Crazy about these aluminum oxide grinding discs is the aluminum oxide they're talking about is made from boxrite, and boxrite is the ore in which they get aluminum from. So, essentially, what you're doing is cutting aluminum with aluminum ore. Isn't that crazy? Looks like he's eating his own butt. Yeah, this stuff here kills him pretty quick, man. You've never tried it, you should. Because they keep on, and I keep taking them out. This stuff works awesome. Brake cleaner. So this one here was hit with a lawnmower. You see the size of it, it's a good size. I didn't even know it was down here. It doesn't take them long to build a nest, guys. When you got thousands of people working at one time, it's like the Chinese, you can build a damn wall across the entire nation in no time right, this is not going to be enough aluminum but being these are living creatures i want to make sure that i do the right thing by the activists and use something that's food grade in case they ingest it like i did last time so y'all remember this from the old nest and i figured out what the actual alloy was that was in there my idiot self i told you that that uh copper pipe was six inches shorter it's got copper in it duh <laughs> so yeah let me go get some food grade aluminum and uh We'll uh we'll go into starting to melt and hopefully we can we can have enough daylight for this. I got a good bit of aluminum. I gotta get the steel pins out of there. Uh, but if all else fails, I'll throw some cans in there. So I guess I need to do a PSA on this. PSA, public safety announcement? <laughs> of course not. Pansy safety announcement. So listen, if you're strolling across your yard and you happen to run into one of these and you see them all scattering across the ground and running around each other, don't think that they're your friends. They don't want to hang out with you. If you try to sit down and chill and drink a cold brew with you, they will do things to you that'll make you wish that you had the COVIDs. So don't do it. All right, there we go. We got the little bastards thinking we're giving them a hand right now. Yeah, but a big mountain of what looks like shit all around their stuff. So uh, I don't know how the hell I'm going to pour this one. This is probably going to take multiple pours. This is going to be tricky. I know I'm going to hit this one first. But I'm probably going to have to hit this one and possibly over here and hope that they all can join somehow. And we're off. Probably took out half of my facial hair, but... We're running at about three to four PSI and uh, low throttle on the air. Now let's go ahead and charge her up. What do you say? Probably should have did this first. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. I ain't nowhere near them. <laughs> Poor Lucy got a gimp leg and she can't get away. What's wrong, Lucy? Cheeky, 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 cheeky. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, owning chickens is more than just getting eggs. It's more than getting meat at the end of their egg-laying cycle. Chickens do a lot for your environment, okay? One thing they do is, if you notice the nest, the coop over there, the bottom of the coop looks like it's dirt. Um, that was just filled in with uh, pine chips a few days ago, okay? They break down parts of the ground. They turn it into fertilizer. Uh, they eat ticks, spiders, all types of pests. Uh, so they're really good for gardens. Um, the roosters will actually kill snakes. They will chase off and fight foxes and um, other animals. So they're actually really good for you. Um, 
unless you're all gimped up like old fat ass Lucy there. <laughs> Poor Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> Poor Lucy, the chicken truck survivor. Now she's got to walk around with a gimpy leg. Anyhow. Well, the foundry's running well. Uh, we've already got some pool. It hadn't been but a few minutes. Um, foundry works good. Problem is, it should work a lot better. Now, I cannot give credit to the refractory. It's not insulative enough, okay? I should have put some perlite in there, and I didn't. Um, it's not even very reflective. But I have to give the credit to the burner with the little sprue in it. Sprue, I don't know. Corkscrew reverse mixer. The mixer thing in it. Now, my dumb self... Um, I can't touch this. I don't know if y'all, any of y'all know the uh, thermal conductivity of aluminum, but it is, uh, one part gets hot and the whole part, the rest of it gets hot like really quick. Oh, now ain't that beautiful. Yeah, she's glowing orange, which is what we want. Want to pour it about an orange or a yellow, however hot you can get it. The hotter it is, the thinner it is, the easier it goes down the porch. So let's let it heat up a little bit longer and you stir it up some. And, uh, oh, I got some dross in there. I don't have any de-drossers or degasser. Mm. Okay, well, we'll just have to pour it like it is. We're going to let it heat up a little bit longer and uh, we're going we're gonna to do a pour. So hold tight. Get my tripod. All right, I think I got y'all set up at a good angle. I won't know until after the recording. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after trying to create some type of a basin so I can get a decent pour, I figured out this isn't going to work too well. But I don't aim to disappoint. What do you say? We go for that one right there. Not the chicken. See that big mound right there? Yeah. There's probably going to be some roots in that one. But I think it'll be a nice one. We'll go for it. Just pulled that plug out. We got several holes. Yeah. I'm gonna pour this thing. It might take me a couple days to dig this out. Just saying. So you might have to wait for the end product. was two completely full crucibles still more to go currently got two full crucibles down there it's about i'm gonna say around 10 pounds of aluminum it's still thirsty this is gonna be fucking huge well we are running out of daylight um i've got 10 pounds down and uh i've got the aluminum well the foil off the top of it i'm ready for another pour the crucible's full again we're going to pour this one again. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully everything's fusing together down there. We won't know until we dig it up. And I don't know if I'm going to get around to digging it up tonight or not. A couple more pounds. Fifteen, and she's still dropping. Jeez Louise, man, what have I got myself into? Well, it looks like this is going to be my last bit. Uh, I don't have any aluminum readily available. I ran out. Uh, I had some stuff that I could make readily available pretty quick. Um, I'm on my last bit, and uh, I don't have any any flux or gasser to do cans so 
this is going to be the last bit. I'm going to let it cool down overnight. I'll dig it up tomorrow sometime. And uh, there'll be a part two. Go tight. Here we go. I really need to make this thing where I can pour easier. Oh no. Oh no. You weren't supposed to do that. Shut up. Take every bit of that. That's it, guys. I didn't get all of it. Wait. It's flowing out the side here. Uh, I think we got up a good ways. Probably didn't get the whole thing. Good God Almighty. But, um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll dig it up probably tomorrow, and we'll see what we got. Love, peace, chicken grease. What a night.